Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I wanted to share with you guys a thrifted haul. I love doing these thrift haul videos. Thrifting is one of my favorite things. I love shopping, but particularly thrifting. I love saving items that other people don't want and reducing waste and not trying not to buy things new as much as possible. But I particularly love looking for farmhouse decor and antiques at thrift stores because that's something I'm just a little obsessed with. I love the style, I love making their house beautiful, and so that's what this thrift haul is going to be today, it's kind of decor items. And if you can't tell, I'm a little bit, I sound a little bit stuffy because I'm at the tail end of a cold, but don't worry, I'm feeling just fine. Just, just the stuffy nose is hanging on a long time. But anyway, let's get right into this haul. First thing I'm going to show you guys here is a set of pictures. Now these are so adorable. I actually got these off of an Etsy thrift store. A lot of the stuff is actually off of online thrift stores because here in Montana we don't have the greatest selection of thrift stores and there's like one thrift store in the valley we live in that's very good at all and even that one it's really hard to find my style of farmhouse items. A lot of the stuff at the thrift stores locally is just really junky and not anything I want. So I found a great way to get around that is to do online thrift shopping because a lot of the online thrift stores I follow are still really great prices. You don't even always have to pay for shipping. Some of the shops you do, but normally if they're just like little items like this, shipping is super cheap. So that's kind of how I get around that the thrift stores locally don't have the greatest stuff. So anyway, I got these two little vintage pictures off of Etsy. I will link all the online shops that I got things as long as I can remember which shops they are. I will link them all in the description box below. But these are just the cutest like antique looking prints. I think they actually came all the way from England. Well, Demi just woke up from his nap, so he's gonna join me for the next section of the video until he gets too fussy and then I'll just finish filming it later. <laughs> so the next thing is this cute little stoneware pitcher and I actually got this for an amazing deal because on this other side there's a little mess up on the paint which I don't really care about and you can always face it the other way so you can't see it so you can't see it if it's on display so I think that's totally fine I don't mind it and it was so heavily discounted that I'm like I have to get it because I don't have any of these and I love stoneware crocs and pitchers and I've been trying to keep my eye out for really affordable ones so I snatched that up as soon as I saw it come available. Here's the next little thing I got. This is just a handheld, a kind of old-fashioned broom. I got this actually for my daughter Sophia because she's getting to the age where she's very, very interested in helping me clean. She loves helping mama with all the things. She helps me wash dishes. She always wants to use the big broom and dustpan and sweep the floor, but it's so long that she ends up knocking things off the counter with the end. So I'm like, she just needs a little tiny broom that she can hold this handle and she can sweep all she wants while I'm sweeping. We don't even have to take turns with it. So this has been so fun for her. And it's, it's just really cute. I hang it up on the wall in our laundry room near my other cleaning supplies. And that's been something really fun for Sophia. The next thing are these pillow covers. There's actually two of them. I have two, I had two pillows on our couch and they are both this just plain tan color. It's got a bit of a texture on it, but I never really liked that. It doesn't really match the style of our living room. So I've been keeping an eye out for cool pillow covers to just put over the pillows because I like, the, like the pillows are fine. I just don't like the look. So I found these on an online thrift store. They were the right size for my pillows. I really like the pattern, they just look really cool and they actually match our brown vintage couch really well. So these have been really nice, especially I got them right before we started showing our house. We're under contract on our house right now. I got these pillow covers right before we started showings. So it was really nice that I finally got some cute pillows before showings, that was good timing. While we're on the pillow track, I got these two cute little pillows with little quilted pillow fronts. This one's a little bit more worn and a little bit more um, faded, which I really like. This one, 
I just like the colors in this one a little bit better, but they just go together. Really cute. These I've been putting on our bed, so I'll make our bed and we just have a white comforter or I'll use the cream side of a quilt. And then I'll just put these kind of at the, the head of the bed and it just kind of makes the bed look finished without it being too fancy looking. And it's just very minimalist. It brings in some cute like vintage quilt pattern. I just think it looks really cute. And so I've been really liking these. And I also got these right around when showing started. So a, a lot of this stuff I did get partly for showings. Partly I've been wanting it for a while. And so this was just a little extra motivation to actually get the things that I wanted to like kind of complete our house. You like to hug the pillows. He's so funny. <laughs> Thank you. Dindy loves the pillows. The next thing is this basket. I actually am storing my essential oils in here. And this has been so perfect for all my essential oils. I use all this for all my doTERRA, like smaller bottles of essential oils. I have another wicker basket with a lid that's taller than this that I use for essential oils. I got from Bulk Apothecary that are bigger bottles that I use for soap making because they're a bit more affordable. I'm slowly just switching over all my essential oils to doTERRA, but it had been really difficult storing all my essential oils in the one bin because if I wanted the bulk ones at the bottom, I'd have to pour all these ones out. So I'm just like, I need separate baskets for them. And because this is just long and short, I can see them all so much easier. They're easy to get to. So this has been so nice. And it really just goes along with all the other baskets that I have on the shelves in my laundry room above the washer and dryer. I'm always on the lookout for a good storage basket like this. Here we have another stoneware thing. I got it from the same place that I got this little handheld broom from. But this was also just really affordable compared to a lot of stoneware crocs that I see. I love the blue stripes through it. It matches a lot of the decor I have in my kitchen already. And again, crocs are just so cute. And so this one was just kind of small. It does have a, a little chip in it, and it was actually a really good price for a stoneware croc. So I jumped on this one as well, and I right now have it in my bathroom on top of the linen closet storage, but we'll see if it stays there. And in the next house, I, I'm just excited to see where I end up putting all this stuff, because it could be in a totally different spot than it is now in, in this current house. The next thing is this tapestry. Now I've actually had this for a while, but then I realized I might not have actually shown this on my last thrifted haul. So I decided to go ahead and show it here in case I forgot to do it last time because I've been loving this so much lately. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna unfold the whole thing. I'll show an overlay of how it looks. But I've actually been using this, it's a tapestry, but I've been using it as a throw blanket on our couch. And it just really brings a lot more interesting colors and textures to our living room. And that's kind of the style I'm going for is just very like eclectic and like a room that's full of things that have been slowly collected over time. I also got a nice little collection of candlesticks. I think these two came from the same spot. Obviously the candles didn't come with them. I found a really great source for beeswax candles on Azure Standard. So I will link those below because I had been looking for some for a long time and I finally found them and they're, they work really well. But I've been, I love the brass candlesticks these two I have on my dresser in our room. Here's the next little candle, candlestick and candle holder. As you can see, I am obsessed with brass candlesticks. They're just really cute to have all over the house. I have these ones on the piano in our living room and they're just really cute. Here's the next piece. This is a cute enamelware plate that has a flower design in the middle and it has a black edge, but I have a set of enamel or plates that are blue, like the blue with white spots. And we use those for our main dishes because the kids can't break them and they're really nice. I, I love enamelware. But this one I actually got just to hang on the wall. It's the same size as our other set, so I could totally use it for a dinner plate. But I'm like, I don't want to like accidentally wear that pretty flower design off. Like, I think I'll just use it as decoration because that is like, adorable. And I love enamelware. This would be the perfect thing for the wall in my kitchen. Here's a cute little picture that I actually got for Sophia's room. I love gallery walls in the kids' rooms. So when I find something vintage that's not too loud and it really goes with my style, I'll usually 
snag it while I can because this would be just a really cute addition to a little girl's gallery wall. Same with these two things. They're silhouette pictures just like that one but with little horses and buggies and those are really cute. I figured for either of the kids gallery walls I think but probably they seem a little bit more like a little girl's gallery wall additions so we'll see where I put them but I'm very excited to get the kids' gallery walls up in their new bedroom in the new house. Here is a picture that I grabbed for Dimmy's room. It's got a lot of blue in it, so it could work for a girl or a boy's room, but I thought because it's blue and I have a lot of I do have a lot of stuff for Sophia's room already, I figured boys' room. But it looks very cute and vintage and just like a really cute addition to a kid's room. So I'm excited about that one too. This picture is gorgeous. It's very subtle and muted. It's a old vintage oil painting, but I just love the look of this and it's very like faded and muted. It doesn't have like sharp edges, which I really like. It just, I don't know. I just really like it. It just looks cool. So I did get this one. It's really old. Normally the pictures that I like are and they're like falling apart on the back. Here's a little set of oval pictures. I, as I said in one of my last thrift hauls, I'm obsessed with oval pictures, especially this cute little set, but they look very farmhouse-y. It's one of each has, they have a little farmhouse, they have little gardens in the front and big trees around the house. So these are really cute and they go really well with all my other pictures that I'll be hanging around the house. I like the brass looking frames, even though they feel kind of plasticky, they still look cool. And then last but not least, I have yet another picture. <laughs> this doesn't have glass over the front, which would you guys let me know if it's bad to keep pictures long term without glass on the front, if that's very important, because this feels like a like an oil painting or it has that texture. So I don't know if I should try to find glass that fits in this frame or not, if that's important or not, but this is just a really pretty picture of a barn with flowers in front of it. And I, I found this one on Etsy as well. And it was just like, perfect for my style and I was looking for more like a little bit bigger ones because you know it's really easy to find like tinier pictures and they're usually really affordable even if they're in a set but like medium size like this especially huge pictures like the one above our bed are normally just like super expensive so whenever I find any that are affordable I'll, I'll usually get them so that is it for this little thrift haul there wasn't as a, a huge amount of things, not as many as my last thrift haul. But as I said, I love thrifting and especially for decor items for our house. And I've been a little bit going crazy with us listing our house and me wanting it to just look perfect for showings and pictures and all of that. And then just being excited about hanging all this stuff in our new house and dreaming about that. So I've been just expanding my like fill, filling out my collection of decor items and it's just nice to have you know backup pictures that aren't always hung like I don't have to hang all of these but then if a spot opens up on the wall or we move stuff around it's just nice to have a lot of options for artwork and decor so I'm really loving how my stash is looking and very excited about it I probably should slow it down a little bit because there is a limit to the amount of pictures and stuff that I need. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and Demi did make it through the whole thing surprisingly. So <laughs> that was a cute little appearance from Demi. He's not normally in my videos anymore now that he's older and he takes good naps. But anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.